The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has received a fleet of new vehicles valued at over $1 million. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security Honorable Philip J. Pierce says the government is prioritizing the security of the nation, particularly with the upsurge in violence and gun-related crimes. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre urged the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to use these resources to maximize productivity. It was important that we made a statement to the police that we cared about them and we cared about their conditions of work. And this is why I want to thank my cabinet for agreeing to prioritize expenditure even before the budget to get $1 million to spend on the police service. <laughs> and this is not the beginning of the improvement of conditions of work for the police. I want to tell you quite boldly, that once we use what we have correctly, you will be getting more vehicles. Because I know you deserve more vehicles, so you will be getting more vehicles, but a condition that you use what you have wisely. Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy expressed deep gratitude to the government of St. Lucia for prioritizing their needs. On behalf of the executive, the rank and file of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the citizens that we serve, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Prime Minister, the Minister of the Public Service, Home Affairs, Labor and Gender Relations, the rest of the government of St. Lucia, and everyone who was involved in making today a reality. Home Affairs Minister Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot assured other institutions under her portfolio that their needs will also be addressed. We have Borderley Correctional Facility, we have the Fire Service, we have Probation and Parole, and we have the Police. I need to reassure them that the Prime Minister is looking at everybody. But right now, at the situation that we are in, Security is critical. We need to be safe in this country. Eleven vehicles were received by the police force to be allocated to various departments and units. The handing over ceremony took place at the police academy on Friday, 24th February 2022. From the Government Information Service, Huma Dimak reporting.